Hello everybody and in this video we're going to be looking at how to make some cool graphics for your website or in this case your Keystage 3 ePortfolio. Um, as you can see I've created my pages using a layout table and I've even done some links um, but the thing we're looking at today is this Keystage 3 ePortfolio banner. Now obviously I didn't make this in Dreamweaver this was made in Fireworks and you can see the file here is a Fireworks file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today how to um, make a banner like that in Fireworks. Okay, so here we are in Fireworks now, and here is the banner that I made. And as you can see over on these layers, there's quite a few things here, but don't worry, it's not that complex really. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create this. The first thing we need to do then is to make a new file. So we go new. Now, as you can see, my width is 1000 because that's how big the layout table was, and the height is 150 that's up to you but that seems to look quite nice resolution 72 because it's only for a screen it's not for printing out and say OK and here's our banner I'm just gonna knock down the uh, zoom for a bit there we are use my magnifying glass just to get in there that fits nicely okay so the first thing then is to get the text on so let's just select some text and then type something uh, you can of course call it whatever you want as long as it's fairly sensible and I'm going to try and put that kind of in the middle looks about right to me um, pick a nice font a simple clear clean font trebuchet MS is what I'm using but something else like Arial is good um, don't use Times New Roman or anything with uh, flicky bits on um, pick a nice sort of fairly neutral colour uh, <clears throat> dark grey is good. Um, I'm actually going to give this a gradient fill so in the uh, fill box here I'm going to choose fill options and then go to gradient and I don't want to go from black to dark grey so I'm going to edit that gradient and I'm just going to choose light grey to kind of a dark grey okay now that's quite nice but I want this to be lighter at the top and darker at the bottom so I need to grab my gradient handles and just adjust them there and I think that looks quite nice okay now what I want to do is create this can you see this kind of uh, gloss effect where you get this line going down through the center there okay so that sort of gives it that look that it's kind of shiny and to do that is quite simple. The first thing we need to do is we need to clone this text. Okay, so I'm going to select the text and then go to Edit, Clone, not Duplicate, but Clone. And what's happened there? It looks like nothing's happened, but I've actually got two bits of text now, exactly on top of each other. With the top text, I now need to break it apart and change it from being text into just being shapes, because then we can adjust those shapes. So if I right-click on that text go to convert to paths and you can see up on layers it's called a, it's a group so now I need to ungroup it so I just go to ungroup and you can see now that I've got lots of letter shaped paths they're not actually text anymore but they are letter shaped paths okay now to make that curved line all I need to do is to draw an oval it kind of cuts through all the writing like that and then select everything under it so I'm holding down the shift key and I'm selecting all those paths that made up the letters now fingers crossed we should be able to go to modify combine crop and all we've got left is the top parts of those letters okay now it still has the fill from when we made the text so I'm going to take that out now I'm going to change it from linear to solid I'm going to change that solid to white and then I'm going to make that white 25% solid uh, so it's it's almost see-through like a window because this is the opacity down here and let's just unclick and see what we can see there you are you see that that's a nice little effect there you see all that we did when we drew that that oval we used that oval to chop the bottoms off the letters okay so that's quite nice Okay, now what I need to do is make the shadow underneath. So I'm going to select the original text, which is down here called text. 
and all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it and then flip it. All right, so again, edit, sorry, not duplicate, clone. Clone it, modify, transform, flip vertical, and then using the arrow keys on the keyboard, I'm going to move that down. So it's just touching the bottom, like that. Okay? That's okay. But that shadow is too solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom half of it transparent. And you can do that by using the gradient fill box. So I'll go down here to the gradient fill box. And we've got the colors on these little paint pots here. But above, these are transparency controls. So the light grays at the bottom, so I go to the light gray one, click on the transparency control, and make that zero. Okay, and come out of there. Now, if I move this up, I can control how much it fades out. There we are. So that's the shadow. And I've got one more thing to do. I've got to put on the background um, and make it look like the letters are sitting on a shiny surface. That's very simple. So just get a rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle, any shape, because we're going to use these controls in the bottom left corner to actually set the size. So the width is the same as our canvas, so that's a thousand. There you go, it's changed already. The height is the same as our canvas, so that's 150. And the X and Y position is zero, zero. Zero there, zero there. Now that's sitting exactly on top of our canvas. Let's drag it to the bottom. Okay, that's now the background, and now let's change the color of it. So I don't want this gradient at all. So I'm going to bring that opacity back up, and I'm going to change that color to a nice kind of blue. Is that a bit bright? And I'm going to change this one to white. Yeah, and then I'm going to use my gradient handle to adjust this gradient. Till I get it how I want it. Just a bit of fiddling around till it looks right to you. There we are. And that's it done. Just save that into your um, ePortfolio folder, which I'll do now. So file, save as. I'm in my correct folder, ePortfolio Year 9. I'm going to call it Banner 2 because I've already got my original banner. And save that. Now when I go back to Dreamweaver, it's in my list here. And I just drag it out and put it well wherever I want it to go. Okay, now you can see I've chosen slightly different colours from before, but you know the colouring's up to you. Um, so try that. Okay, have fun.